Pokemon is one of the biggest franchises in the world and it has one of the highest earning revenues in the world, up there with the likes of Star Wars and Marvel. So as Pokemon is so popular I always wondered why isn't there more on the anime side of things. Of course the anime is only a small portion of what they do, they also have the games, the trading cards and merchandise, and much more, but people like to watch shows and movies. Look at Star Wars and Marvel, they've announced a ton of new shows for Disney Plus and of course Pokemon probably will never do this as it's probably not that profitable for them and it's different with Japanese anime, they usually have one long running show and you don't get a bunch of other spin offs. But I thought it would be fun to take a look at what shows we could see if this happened. It's all theoretical, I don't actually think any of these shows will happen but it's just fun to imagine what could happen. Pokemon have done stuff like Pokemon Chronicles which is basically what I'm talking about, just a bunch of side stuff exploring other characters around the world, showing what they're doing while Ash is off doing his own thing. Because the Pokemon world is huge with so many characters to explore, so I'm going to talk about three different shows that would be fun to watch and I hope you enjoy. And of course be sure to let me know what spin-offs you could imagine in this world. The first spin-off show we have is called The Oak Family. This show will take place mainly in Pallet Town, but will also venture out into other places around Kanto, and possibly in other regions like Johto and Sinnoh. The show will focus on the Oak Laboratory, day-to-day -day life at the lab, featuring all of Ash's lab Pokemon, and how Professor Oak takes care of them. It will be similar to the episode Showdown at the Poke Corral, but it will be a whole show dedicated to this, and not just Professor Oak, but also Gary Oak, who is a main character as well. We will see his life as a researcher working with his gramps. This series will fill in the gaps between Diamond and Pearl and Journeys. It will show everything that Gary has been doing in this time period, including a storyline where he misses battling, and this is what drives him back to compete in the Pokemon World Championships. We will see all of his favourite Pokemon, Blastoise, Umbreon and Electrovire. And we will see a load of Gary battles, including a battle against Misty, who is in charge of the Cerulean Gym at this point. The main cast of this series are Gary Oak, Professor Oak, Tracy Sketchit and Delia Ketchum. I've spoken about Gary and Professor Oak's roles, but the other two of course are living in Pallet Town at the moment, so they will be there day to day interacting with Gary and Professor Oak. Also this would be a chance to fill in a bunch of gaps with Tracy as we haven't seen him since Black and White. He could accompany Gary on some of his research projects or battles, and then help Oak around the lab. The supporting cast in this series are Richie, Butch and Cassidy, Professor Elm and Professor Rowan. We've seen a few of these appear in Chronicles episodes at the lab before so it'd be cool to see them again. Richie living in Kanto it wouldn't be hard to see him appear, he could potentially be a battle opponent for Gary. And then Butch and Cassidy are long overdue a return so if they was in the series it would make up for all of their time long gone. They could be the comic relief of this show just like the main trio are in the main show. And then the two professors, Professor Elm and Professor Rowan, I feel like these two haven't had much love and that's why I said we could be visiting other regions like Johto and Sinnoh, and these professors could meet up with Professor Oak, Gary and Tracy for some exciting episodes. Two special guest appearances that will feature at the end of the show in the last couple of episodes are Misty and Brock. Like I said before, Gary will end the show battling against Misty, the gym leader, to prove that he's fully back to battling now despite also being a researcher. He'll prove that he's still got what it takes, taking on Misty and her Mega Gyarados, and he'll win using his Mega Blastoise. And then Brock, since he's going to be in Kanto, he will also feature maybe not a battle with Gary, but some sort of episode that will show how he is progressing with becoming a doctor. Helping out Gary with an injured fossil Pokemon in Pewter would work nicely. So that is the Oak Family, a show focusing all around the lab, Ash's old Pokemon, and many more. And it's called the Oak Family because Professor Oak is basically the dad of the lab and he keeps things going on around the lab so everyone around is his family including Ash's Pokemon. This would be so much fun and speaking about this is making me wish Pokemon Journeys did this type of stuff. So let me know would you watch the Oak Family, give me a rating out of 10 on how good this show would be. The next show is called Serena's Hoenn Adventure and you could probably guess this will take place in the Hoenn region and star Serena alongside Shauna as a main character. Serena will journey with her through the Hoenn region and both her and Shauna will compete in Pokemon contests. This will pick up exactly after X and Y as Serena decided to go to the Hoenn region after Kalos. She will journey to collect 5 ribbons and compete in the Grand Festival. And there will also be a Wallace Cup taking place along the way. 
she'll continue to grow with a Pokemon, catch brand new Pokemon and much more. The other main character Shauna has the exact same goal, so this show is full on contest and I think it's cool to have two main characters actually competing against each other along the way, but also showing Shauna's growth and her catching new Pokemon and we learn way more about her in this show than we do in X and Y. The supporting cast are stacked full of coordinators we know from the past. Dawn, May, Drew, Harley, Nando, Kenny, Miet, Nini, Nurse Joy, Contesta, Sukizo and Vivian. So a bunch of coordinators in the mix who will return and many more characters. And the coordinators will return throughout the different contests in this series. Each contest will have someone different to face and a lot of mixture. The main rivals for Serena and Shauna for the Grand Festival will be Dawn, Nando, Kenny, Mia and Nini. The three from Sinnoh because it makes sense as they have never competed in the Hoenn Grand Festival as far as we know. It will be cool to see more interactions between Dawn and her rivals once again as well. And then Mia and Nini who were both Serena's showcase rivals, they also decided to come to Hoenn and compete in contests as well. As it seems like that's the next step for development after showcasing. But as for May and Harley, they won't be competing in the Hoenn Grand Festival again as they already have. They'll just be returning for a Wallace Cup arc and maybe a few other random contest appearances here and there. However, Drew will once again appear in the Hoenn Grand Festival. After losing to May in the Kanto Grand Festival, he goes back to square one to train up and that led him to Hoenn where he decided to once again go for the trophy. And he will end up winning, beating Serena in the final giving Drew the Grand Festival he deserves and giving Serena a great first time out, getting to the final on her first try. And then of course Contesta, Sukizo, Nurse Joy along with Vivian will return in their usual fashion for all of the Hoenn contests as the judges and announcer. The special guest appearances for this show are Ash, Go and Wallace. Now I've always thought Go would be great in a Pokemon contest and this would be the perfect time. Ash and Go will both compete in the Wallace Cup along with pretty much every character I mentioned from before. Go will get really far but be eventually beaten by Serena. Then Ash will go out pretty quickly but it'll be a good way for him to meet up with Serena again. She'll show Ash how much she has grown and more shipping fans will go crazy. And then finally Wallace, he will of course return as he's hosting the Wallace Cup but it'll also feature in a special contest battle with Serena towards the end of the series. She will lose, but he will push her to her limits and help her learn even more. Overall, this show will just be for the contest fans. We've not had contest in the anime since Diamond and Pearl, so here's like 15 years of overdue contest action, including all of our favourite coordinators. Who wouldn't love that? Let me know what your rating out of 10 would be for Serena's Hoenn adventure. The third and final show is The Pyramid King. You can probably guess from the title alone, it's about Brandon the Frontier Brain. Brandon is one of the coolest characters we've ever had, and I would love a show that dives into his character, his story, and the fact that he has three damn Reggies. The show will be a bit of exploring ruins with Brandon, and also him battling challenges in the Battle Pyramid, including a certain trainer. So the other main character in the show besides Brandon is Paul. Although it's called the Pyramid King, we're going to see a bit of Paul's journey after the Sinnoh League as well. He'll prepare for his match with Brandon after he told Ash he was going to have a rematch. He starts to doubt himself and his training method after losing to Ash, making him develop a brand new way of training Pokemon. Still a bit ruthless and strict, but a bit more caring like Ash as well. And we see this training all before he goes to challenge Brandon for another battle. Paul will challenge Brandon early on in the series and lose getting his second defeat. He'll train up a bit more and then towards the end he'll finally defeat Brandon on his third attempt, just like Ash did on his third. But in between we'll see some Brandon episodes where he journeys to Galar to find out about the new Reggies in the Crown Tundra. We'll see him back in Sinnoh checking in on the Regigigas and of course battling trainers as well. The supporting cast will be Reggie, Candice, Virgil, Sawyer, Gladion, Kakui, Burnett and Sonya. So Reggie, Paul's brother, will be appearing in person to watch his battles and maybe a few phone calls when Paul is training. Candice will appear in Snowpoint again just like she did during Paul's first battle with Brandon. Virgil and Sawyer, two random former rivals of Ash who deserve more love, they'll both appear to challenge Brandon. They won't have any part of Paul's story, they'll just be battling Brandon themselves. Virgil's battling with his squad of evolutions 
and Sawyer battling with his Mega Sceptile. And these are tough opponents for Brandon, and one being a Unova League winner and the other having a Mega. These battles could go either way really. But I'm going to say that Brandon defeats Virgil, but he doesn't defeat Sawyer. This is just a cool way to see some battles. The first show was about researching and battling. The second show is about contest and battling. And this show is going to be all in on the battling. Gladion, Kukui and Burnett all travel together from Alola to visit the Battle Pyramid. We learn that Ash told Kukui about the Battle Pyramid and they wanted to check it out and meet Brandon. And while they're there, Gladion decides to take on Brandon, but he loses in a battle. And they all go with Brandon to research some ruins. And finally, Sonya, she appears in the Crowned Tundra to help Brandon research the new Reggies and eventually capture both of them. So we have three special guest appearances for this show. The first one is the Tower Tycoon Palmer. Of course, we needed another Frontier member. And why not have a member from the Sinnoh Battle Frontier, Barry's dad Palmer? He will act as the strongest member of the Sinnoh Battle Frontier, just like Brandon is the strongest of this one. And he'll be the final boss for Brandon to overcome. They'll have a Pokemon World Championship battle one-on-one -on -one between Brandon's new Reggie Drago and Palmer's Dragonite. Brandon will win advancing in the Pokemon World Championship where he will eventually battle Ash again. Please journeys, make that happen. The second guest is Cynthia who will appear in the middle of Paul's journey while he is training for the third battle with Brandon. But they won't battle this time, Cynthia will offer Paul a rematch after she swept him 6-0 before, but Paul will refuse and say he's not strong enough just yet. And he's not the foolish kid that he used to be. He knows that he can't defeat her. But they'll have an episode together talking and training and he will grow once again. And then she'll leave and he'll promise to meet her again and battle her for real next time. And then one final special appearance will be the main man himself, Gary Oak, from our first show, The Oak Family. This episode will tie towards that first show. After beating Misty, Gary will be thinking about his next opponent. He'll turn up in Sinnoh to challenge Paul at Lake Acuity to a 6 on 6 battle just like Paul and Ash had. Gary finds out about him from studying Ash's former rivals and watching back their battle in the Sinnoh League on TV and this is what prompts Gary to go and challenge Paul. Paul on the back of his win with Brandon and Gary on the back of his win with Misty. Both of them will see who's stronger in a full battle and man I don't know who would win in this one so I'm just going to leave it up to you guys. But it could end on a cliffhanger when Gary turns up to challenge Paul, it could be a post credit scene and then season 2 would start off with this epic battle. So overall this show sounds so damn good and it makes me sad that we're never going to get anything like this. The show is titled to be about Brandon but I don't think there's anything wrong with incorporating Paul's storyline into this. As Brandon is Paul's next goal so the Pyramid King also symbolises what Paul is working towards as well. And both characters will feature heavily throughout but then having the Gary crossover at the end will link this universe together and it would be amazing. So let me know out of 10 how excited you would be for this show. So that's it for now, I'm just covering the three shows today. But please like the video, share it and support it if you want to see me do more of these. This was probably one of the funnest videos I've ever made. So I'm probably going to be doing another one with another three shows. And then we can really start to create this Pokemon anime universe adding more characters and shows and of course let me know what shows you'd like to see in this and maybe i'll talk about them as well but thanks so much for watching i really hope you did enjoy and i'll see you in the next one